Hello guys. So today we are going to discuss about an important topic which is preparation tips for NEET. So it's about 2 months that we have stepped into 2020 which implies that it's about just around 2 months left for NEET which is uh, to be taken place around 3rd May. So what's NEET? NEET is the eligibility entrance exam or else national entrance exam which allows us to take undergraduate courses in uh, MBBS, Ayush and other medical courses. Previously, eminent colleges like Ames and Jipmer used to conduct their own entrance examination which has changed from this year. The seats in these colleges will also be allotted to the students based on the scores they get in NEET 2020. This certainly has an inner meaning. Whereas the seats have definitely increased, but the number of students eyeing them have also increased by lakhs. So let's discuss about the pattern of NEETs. First of all, NEET examination, it's a MCQ examination and each question there are four multiple choice answers. So one correct answer will reward you with four marks, whereas if you get one wrong, it will also deduct one mark. Now the calculation stands like this, that if a student doesn't know the syllabus well and he or she attempts the answers and uh, get the answers wrong, then that can take a toll on the result. So basically what I want to say is, we definitely have our own preparation mode and that cannot change. But I will give you some tips which can add on to your game and you can really buck up. So number one. Number one, as I said, you should know the pattern of examination well and your syllabus very well. Your syllabus should be in your fingertips. You should really know that well. Now, as you know, as I said, that there are negative marks. So you should always go for the answers which you're sure and then get, get back to the answers which you're not very sure about. Now comes to the books. NCRT books, as we know, are the gold standard for NEET examination. I am not suggesting you to not read reference books, but only go for reference books when you are 100% sure about NCRT. Do not skip NCRT and go for your reference book. That wouldn't help you. Now the next thing is, for every entrance examination or competitive examination, books are something which you should read at the first go. While you read your books, you should underline the main points or else make your own notes. This first of all helps in understanding the thing better because when you are reading and along with it making your own notes, you are understanding the thing both ways, by reading and by writing. And the next thing is when you revise, your handwritten notes are much more easier to read than any textbook do try this you will obviously gain advantage now the next thing is revise as i said in any other examination there is no replacement for revision if you do not revise at least about three times the whole syllabus there is no point of your knowledge because you will not get that registered uh, our brain works in a way when you study something and then again study the new material, it tends to overlap the previous knowledge. So in order to turn your short term memory into long term memory, you need to go about that a couple of times. It is same for everyone. Yeah, it may differ from person to person based on the merit, but none, no one can actually remem remember so many subjects at one go. And last but not the least, and actually this is one of the most important key points which can help you to get uh, good results or help you to be successful, that is appear for mock test and solve previous question papers. Previous question papers will not only help you understand the main topics, it will also help you understand where you are lagging behind and also it will help you understand the pattern well. And also when you are solving previous papers, uh, solve it in a time bound or speculated time so that you understand the stress because our brain doesn't work the same when it is relaxing or it is under stress. So that is very important and mock test will definitely help you increase your scores because once you get low score next time you will read those things and this is a fact trust me when you get something wrong 
and you reread it you will never forget it maybe the things you get right you can get confused about it but if ever a teacher have corrected you about something where you have gotten wrong you will never never get that wrong again so yeah these are the tips and i will definitely hope that you have studied well and this is the time to revise go about it and get a great score we all do look forward to your colorful results thank you